Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sam Um, Welcome back to the channel. Um, thank you so much for clicking the video and if you can, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also uh, hitting that like as well as that notification bell. Um, and also just sharing with your buddies and sharing with your friends uh, about this channel. Uh, we're just getting started and the more people that we can reach, the better. So I um, please uh, consider doing that and thank you so much in advance. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, in that this is going to be a little bit more training vlog, if you will. And I want to concentrate on this one app called Runna. Now, I want to start off with a disclosure. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Runna. Runna doesn't even know me. Um, they're, they don't even know I'm making this video. Um, so this is not sponsored. This is just, I'm doing this out of my own uh, time and also my own money. I'm paying premium uh, membership uh, to Runna. Um, so, so everything that I say today are my own words and my thoughts. So I've used many apps in my running life, uh, starting with Nike, um, getting into Strava, getting just using the uh, built-in workout app on my Apple Watch, and you know, I followed many different programs and I, w I never was fully satisfied with it. And I think the reason was because I still am. I would say I'm an intermediate runner. I'm not a anywhere close to elite, obviously, but I'm also not an advanced runner. I, I, I've only ran for about a year and a half now. Um, so I'm still in that sense of learning a lot of things uh, when it comes to running. And I'm sure you guys all agree with me when I say that there are many questions. There are many questions as to, okay, what kind of plan should I be following? How many runs are too much? Should I be doing strength workout? Okay, then if so, when should I do them? All these different questions kind of haunted me throughout my running days and um, especially when I was first starting, I just have, had no idea uh, what to do. So my first app that I ever used was Nike, uh, but it, it lacked in some personal personalization, if you will. Um, and also it was just solely about running. And I've heard many times, and I also felt this many times too, where running itself wasn't enough. Especially as a beginner runner, I always felt there was a limitation to my running without any strength training or strength workouts. You know, you can, I can only go so, so fast for so long before my legs just gave out. And before I started running, I thought it would be my breathing, my like running out of breath would be a problem, but it wasn't. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. So then I switched over from Nike to Strava because a lot of people are there. My friends were on there, so I, would, I was trying to see and blah, blah, blah. And Strava has a training plan, but it's very vague. So every time I tried to do some training plan with Strava, I just felt lost as a beginner. Now, I'm sure if you're an elite, if you're advanced, if you're so experienced and you know exactly what you need, I'm sure the openness and the flexibility of Strava is very, very helpful. But to me and to a lot of beginner runners, it just leaves you a lot more questions than answers. And then Apple Watch had its uh, huge update last September, if you guys know. Um, that was geared towards runners and so it, it dropped a ton of new features for runners which are great and I still use and I still love but it, it still lacks on personalization and sort of guidance if you will and I think that's what I needed sort of a plan that was specifically designed for the pace that I want to achieve and the target distance and then I found this app called Runna. Now Runna is an app where it, it there are many different kind of plans that you can choose from from 5k all the way to 50k um, and it gives you a very personalized workout plan that is heavily geared towards and also personalized to your goal time and goal pace and not only that for the workouts such as tempo threshold uh, and interval, it gives you specific pace, specific time. And the integrated app will show you how many miles you have left, how much time you have left, as well as what kind of pace you're in, in terms of the, the goal. Not only that, it also gives you some strength workout options um, with very, very detailed uh, types of workouts. So it's just been amazingly helpful and just kind of ease of mind, if you will and having your own coach, really. So it's just been awesome. And I love to share my experience with you today. 
Now today's run is going to be a tempo run. It's named on of K's and totaling mile is 3.6 miles. Um, and it says it will take around 25 minutes to 35 minutes and the description is here. So it will be 0.6 mile warm up and then I will repeat the following two times. 0.6 mile at uh, 8.25 pace and 0.6 mile at 7.25 pace and I will repeat that twice. And then I'll, done, I'll finish the whole workout with another K of cooldown. As you can see, it's very detailed and it, it this is structured to the time that I set for my half marathon, which my target time is uh, 145, one hour and 45 minutes. So it's specifically designed for me to hit that target in 12 weeks. So enough chatting, let's go run. And I'm excited to show you guys how this app works in real life. Let's hit it. So when you first open it up, it, it sort of shows you all the workouts that are coming up. And obviously today's Thursday, we're gonna do on off K's over there. If I click on it, it shows you all the information that we're gonna be doing today. And if you scroll down, it shows you more and you can start. And if you press start, we'll count and we're gonna go. So when you first start running, the app will show you how many distance you have left, also how many distance you traveled, the pace, and also the lap pace. Now, as you can see here, I'm on my first leg of the tempo workout, where I'm supposed to be running at 8.35. And as you can see, it will show you and alert you if you're either going too fast or too slow. And for me, that's great because it always keeps you in check. So I really can think about and focus on running itself instead of having to worry about what my current pace is, how much time I have left, how much distance I have left, and stuff like that. The only downside, I would think, is that in the first page, I wish there was a heart rate or some sort of option for me to make that change. I'm not sure if there is, so if you guys know, please let me know. Coming up on the last 0 0.02 miles, it's now giving me alert for the last segment. K, 1K, that's a 25 pace. Let's go. Done with the workout. That was actually a lot tougher than I thought because I think I got excited to take you guys out on the run with me. So the warm up and the very first leg, uh, 825 pace. I took that way too fast. Ooh, and I paid for it towards the end. 
So that's it for the workout. Now I'm gonna go in, stretch, and then we'll do sort of recap of the run inside. See you guys. All right, we're back at it. 3.6 miles uh, total. And uh, I just wanna sort of do a quick recap of the run here um, and just tell you guys about my experience. And I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys um, found how helpful this app is. Uh, it's been really helpful for me. So um, I'm just so excited for this chance for me to really get to really tell you guys about this app. So I'm using my phone to record this video. So I'm gonna be using my iPad. And first things first, I just wanna kind of talk about that because not a lot of running apps support iPad. So if you're a, a person that uses iPad a lot, I use iPad a ton for my work. Um, this is awesome. I mean, apps like Nike or Strava, the, the iPad support isn't really there. However, for this app, as you can see, it's uh, it's not just a blown up version like how Nike running um, app is here, but it's a full on app for the iPad. So that to me, who uses iPad a lot is, uh, is a plus. Once you're done running and you hit pause and you open up the app on your phone, it will automatically link that workout to this, the, um, to this app where you can see all your sort of progress here. So as you can see, you have check marks here. Um, I'll also upload on, on the screen as well. You also, you'll find those check marks telling you that you finished that workout. So going in there, like I said, it will pair automatically. If you click on that um, workout, it will show all the sort of information that all the other apps would as well, right? So stuff like splits, uh, pace, elevation, and you can click more analysis. Um, then it will uh, it will show your heart rate, cadence, uh, ground contact time, power, stride length, and verticalized oscillation. All those really good things are on here, so it's it's really easy to uh, follow. But what I want to sort of draw your attention to is actually here. If you go on to Tuesday, so two days ago I did um, some interval to work out, so it was a kilometer repeat. And if you click on that for these interval runs, you will see for the lap portion, you will see the target area there and you can really compare how you did to the target. So as you can see, it's, it's just really, it shows you where you were in terms of the target. The first interval, as you can see, I was a little too fast over the target. So obviously next time I have to slow down a little bit. Um, you, click, you know, clicking on the view lap details, it shows you a lot more detail, all the other paces that you were hitting. Now things like these exist in Garmin and also Apple Watch as well, but the fact that it integrates to your plan, straight to your uh, watch and straight to the app, to me that integration is just so good and so seamless. That's why I love this, I love using this app. And for me, who is quite in the beginner stage of running and doesn't really quite know how to um, sort of make my own workouts, this is super, super helpful. And one other thing I really want to show you is the workouts, the strength training. So if you look at Wednesday, I did uh, drop set legs. And if you go start workout, it will show you with detail how many reps, how many sets to do individual workouts. And it will target different parts of your body um, depending on the day. So usually for me, Mondays are sort of overall uh, body workout and Wednesdays are leg and core day so um, it really kind of disperses uh, and, and targets specific groups of your uh, muscle group to work on on the strength so I hope you guys liked the video I, again this video is not sponsored by Rana uh, but I just wanted to share this app with you guys uh, to tell you guys a little bit more about this app and how I've been loving using this app so I hope you guys found it helpful. And next video is going to be reviewing this guy. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.